All right, guys, while the dogs are outside chilling, I am gonna make some quick instant oatmeal before my workout. I personally just cannot work out on an empty stomach. I like these little packs. One, because they're quick, they're convenient, and two, the portioning is perfect. I don't feel bloated before my workout, but I feel like I ate enough that I'm not thinking about food the whole time, so these are great. So good. Okay. I also need to make some pre-workout. So. I like this little mini shaker cup. All right, let's go sit and eat. Little sneak peek at the gym. I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what you guys eat before you work out. Or if you don't eat anything before you work out. Also, do you guys prefer to work out in the morning or in the evening? In the morning is just the best time. I wake up with the sun like a little bird. My dogs get up, I take them out. I just have most of my energy in the morning. So I definitely prefer like morning workouts. If you're not a morning person and evenings work better for you, do what works best for you. I personally don't love working out in the evening. I feel like it gets me too pumped up and then I can't go to bed. Like the pre-workouts in my system, my blood's pumping, and then I'm just wound for sound. Just finished eating my oatmeal. I came over here to put on some socks and running shoes. These shorts are from Amazon, super cute. Um, same with the shoes. I will link them in the description down below. All my jewelry is also from Amazon. For those of you that don't know, I stream on Twitch live five days a week. I do workout streams, cooking streams, chatting, gaming, a little bit of IRL, which would be similar to like a live vlog. So my socials will all be linked below along with links to any items that you may be interested in. For those of you that don't know, this is my magnificent beast, Xavier. Ooh, there we go, I forgot we were plugged in. <laughs> gym. I'm still working on this pre-workout here. When I'm working out, I usually like to drink pre-workout and water. I get really thirsty and I can't like just chug pre-workout the whole time. It makes me feel like my head's going to explode. So <laughs> I drink a lot of water while I'm working out and then I take sips of my pre-workout in between. Okay. I like to start by warming up. So I usually move my bench out of the way. All right, so I like to start by stretching a little bit, especially like my neck, my lower back, my hip area. Whenever I get a knot, for some reason, I tend to get it in my neck. So there's just like an area on me that I know I need to stretch out.
we're finally at the part of the video that y'all been waiting for. Hip thrusts versus squats. How to grow the booty. Which one is more effective? Should you be doing both? And the answer, in my opinion, is yes. Still do both. I still definitely do both. I will say, though, that I've been working out for about four years, maybe longer. Off and on, obviously. Everybody kind of goes through rough patches where they don't work out as often as they usually do. And I was a person who did a ton of squats. I still think they're great, and I still do them. But I will say that I noticed the burn more when I started incorporating hip thrusts in. So I definitely think that hip thrusts are a must. You are definitely like isolating. <laughs> hey, Xavier, my baby. There's no one there. Shoosh. All right, as I was saying. There's just something about it that gives you this nice snatched booty. I'm about to get into it right now and you can see what I do to try and grow the peach. All right, sometimes I like to do a set with no weight just so I can perfect my form. So I'm just get my hair out of the way because your girl has a lot of hair. A ton. I have a horse mane. Okay? about 10 pounds on either side and the bar itself is like 45 pounds. Some of the girls with the fattest peaches I have ever seen simply do body weight resistance. I don't lift super heavy. I just up my reps sometimes. I make sure I'm squeezing and I make sure that I'm intaking enough protein at the end of my workouts. Squat portion of this video is done. Now, onto the hip thrust. First off, I need to get the bar and the rack. So I'm gonna take the weight off it. And I have a very tight space in here to work with. even cracked. I don't know what it is. 
but when I go to the gym and the pads on the equipment are cracked, I immediately think that bacteria and germs are just living in there and gonna get on me. I know it's an irrational fear. Anyways, let's get some weight on this bad boy. Okay, so when you do this, you gotta wanna make sure you have a pad for your hips, or it will hurt. <laughs> so what I like to do is position myself so that when I'm thrusting up on the bench, it is like right underneath your shoulder blades is where the bench is gonna go. Another tip is to focus on something on the wall when you're doing it. Um, keep looking at that as you're doing the movement instead of tilting your head back. I know it sounds crazy, but you'll feel it in your glutes more because it's less of a rocking motion. So I try to focus on something in front of me. It's time for me to eat something high in protein. I don't feel like cooking, so I'm probably just gonna get a rotisserie chicken. If you liked this video, if you could subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit the bell so you know when I post another video, I'd appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.